Hey guys and girls, welcome back to another beautiful video on this beautiful channel, on this beautiful day. How you guys and girls doing? Hope you're doing great as always. Please check out the description box for all the nice links. Also drop a like, subscribe if you like the content. Uh, in this video we're going to make all the bullet stuff work. If you remember we had a map included in the last video. Also we made sure we had textures uh, in this map container class which we're going to use. We're going to need a few more things here but we'll get to it as we, as we go along. But first of all, we're going to make sure we call this init textures here. Init textures. So we don't forget that. Uh, and in this, we're going to load some textures. Now, one thing I did forget last video is to make this into a pointer. Because we don't want to kind of copy and stuff here. We want to make sure the map contains all the actual textures. Um, and that's going to be a little more optimized. But before we add anything to it, we're going to make sure we remove all of the textures uh, at the end of the game so we don't get any memory leaks. You know, big textures, memory leaks can be pretty bad. Uh, delete textures. Uh, and to delete a from a map like this, what you want to do is you want to make a for each loop. So for auto reference uh, texture. Or uh, we'll just call it I for now. I. This textures. Good. And we're just going to do a little delete on the I dot second position. So for each I, for each string, you have a second uh, part of the, uh, the container which contains the texture, actual texture. And we're going to delete all of those. That's exactly what we want to do. And that's going to make sure everything is fine. Now, we're already uh, loading in the player texture in the player. That's fine. We're not going to be creating a lot of players all the time. But for bullets, it's pretty important. So to do that, first of all, you want to do this textures at the position bullet. So that's what our textures string part is going to be. And that's going to be a new texture, which is very much empty. SF texture and now we're gonna load into this texture something pretty nice which is gonna be load from file and the path to this texture which I created here is called bullet PNG and it's in the textures folder all you have to do is textures bullet dot PNG there you go so now you loaded in a texture into this class here into this map and it's going to stay there for good. And that's very good. Uh, the next part, obviously, is going to be to kind of update this, uh, what do you call it, this bullet thing somehow. And I'm just going to create a void update bullets function in game for, for now. We might rename it a little later. But just for now, we're going to create that. Um, I think... I'm going to be updating all the bullets in here, but I'm going to be creating the bullets in the update input part. Uh, let's do that first. So if SF mouse, if we click our left button, is button pressed SF mouse left. There we go. Then there's going to be stuff happening. And what do we want to happen? Well, we want to add a new bullet. And for that, we're going to need to keep track of bullets somewhere. And I'm going to put that in under my resources thing anyway. Uh, STD vector bullet. Like that. And for that, obviously, we're going to have to include bullet here. And I'm going to make sure we handle the bullets in the player in game. So we're not going to handle the bullets in player, even though you might want to. But that makes our life a little easier when we're going to check the bullets collision against the screen. We're going to check it against the enemies and all that so it's it's pretty easy for us right now maybe in the next video or in the next series we're gonna do uh, bullets in player so uh, but for now we're just gonna do this so we're gonna have this called bullets very simple we're gonna have a player here I'm gonna create some new bullets in there so we're not gonna be copying over bullets that's also an optimization thing um, before that we're gonna have to delete all the bullets in in this part here where is it here we go so first of all we're gonna have to do that and then we're gonna delete all the bullets that are left um, for 
auto pointer i this bullets if this doesn't work we're gonna have to do it another way delete i so we're gonna delete all of those and the that's just gonna delete all the dynamic memory in the vector and then it's gonna delete itself later on anyway all the pointers it has in it uh, so it's just gonna clear it out good 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 bullets Very simple, very simple. Good, we'll get back to that if we have to. Uh, but the next step I want is just to make sure that bullets are rendering properly. Uh, so once we press the left mouse button, we're gonna do this, bullets.pushback, new bullet. And we're gonna make sure it has all the data it needs. So if we look back at how we created bullet, we made sure we had a direction, everything, and all that. So, but we don't have a position. I noticed that actually, and we should create it at a position, a origin position. And to do that, I'm just going to do a float pos x float pos y like that. And while we're in here, we're going to do a little accessor to gain that position outside. And I wonder if I'm going to do position or if I'm going to do. Let's do sf global bounds yeah sf float rect get bounds instead instead of just position because we can we use this later for the collision with the enemies const uh, const okay so all you need to do in that function is this shape that get global bounds and that will be returned for us once that is returned, we can get the positions out. Also, you want to put this in the H files or the CPP file as well. Like that. Good. Very nice. Very nice. Uh, and then we're going to set the shapes position as well. This shape dot set position. Pos X. Pos Y. And then we have the texture here which we'll probably do to put a pointer again because we have a pointer outside like that and that will keep the reference from it so dereference that in there good and we have our bullets we have everything going for us good now we just need to make sure we render it and we update it for the rendering part we're just going to do a for auto reference i or pointer eye rather uh, this bullets uh, or we'll call this bullet bullet render window so we're gonna render it to the window and the nice thing is we can just copy this and put it in update bullets and also call update bullets here this update bullets good 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 update and you can remove the window in here so now we're going to be updating our bullets and we're going to be rendering our bullets nicely uh, very good now to create the bullet let's get back to this this textures is the first thing we're going to have to add in here bullet am I recording right now yes okay we have a minute left uh, this bullet is our texture well the position is going to be the player's position but let's just do it at zero zero for now and then the movement direction eh, we'll just leave it at zero 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 everything just so we can see it render nicely and that should should be good I mean yeah it shouldn't be a problem now other than just rendering it on the screen here yeah so it's rendering right there at the top nice uh, now like I said we're gonna need to render or create these at the player position so I'm gonna do an accessor here real quickly const uh, sf vector 2f reference get position const and we're gonna define this to return 
this sprite that get position very simple and that will allow us to easily create the bullets at the position of the player um, so in game wherever we create the bullet let's add the player's position here so this player get position x copy that whole thing put in here and say y and now if we run it hopefully every time we click we'll create a bullet at that position there we go yep it's creating a bunch of bullets at that position it's not moving right now obviously but we have our bullets being created in the next video we're going to go ahead and actually move the bullets as well uh, all we have to do is just change these variables but sure we'll do that in the next one uh, you can try that out if you want just change these three variables direction and the speed and you'll see them moving but the reason i'm not doing that is since i don't have any way to delete stuff since it's going out of the screen and i'm going to make sure we do that as well in here in the next one but thank you so much for sticking with me thanks for all the support Take care, guys and girls, and I'll see you guys and girls in the next one, right? Bye-bye.